Hey guys, it's Kristen with HK Wax Center. We are going to do men's ear hair waxing. Um, not to be confused with men's ear wax removal, because I've gotten that before. Uh, removing the hair from the ear, not the wax from the ear. Um, so a couple things to keep in mind. First, what type of wax are you gonna use? Um, there's two main kinds, hard wax and soft wax. Soft wax looks like this. It will come in a can. Um, it's sticky, so if you've seen 40-year-old virgin, which most of us have, um, you take a little bit on a uh, like stick spatula, spread it on your skin, take a piece of muslin paper, lay it on and remove it. Um, it adheres to the skin. It hurts more um, because it adheres to the skin. So whenever you remove that strip, the hair happens to come out with it, but you cannot go over the same area more than once. If you do, the skin can lift and come off and that's gonna hurt and you don't want that for your uh, client. So soft wax, um, in this case, I, I actually have never seen someone do an ear wax with soft wax, um, so I'm not sure how that would work, but I wouldn't recommend it, so don't try it. Um, I would use hard wax. Hard wax looks like this, um, kind of like when it's all melted, molasses or honey. Um, it can come in three forms. It can come in bead tablets or also in a can if you want. Um, hard wax adheres to the hair, not to the skin. So if you think of like candle wax, whenever you spread the wax, you can spread it easily, it will cool and harden. Once it hardens, you can pick up that edge and remove it without any kind of paper strips or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it adheres to the hair. So because of that, you can go over the same area multiple times and you're not gonna hurt your client. So that's good. So we're gonna use hard wax in this case for our ear hair waxing tutorial. Um, now, Piercings is kind of the only thing you really have to look out for. Um, my client in this case, he doesn't have any piercings, but some people have like a tragus piercing right here, um, earlobe, stuff like that. Be cautious of it. You obviously don't want to get waxed in that area. Um, so he doesn't, so we are um, all good to go in that case. So we're going to cleanse it. So I'll take a pre-wax cleanser. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. And I'm just going to Gently cleanse his ear. Okay, now for him, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna lay a strip just on the outside right here because hair does tend to grow up on the edge of the ear. Um, I'm going to get a little ball of wax and lay it right here because if you can see all of these guys, it's gonna be so much fun. Um, we're gonna put a little ball of wax right here to remove those. Some people have um, little hairs on their earlobes or even up here. Um, just remember, whenever you're laying the wax, put your hand behind the ear like this. That way, if anything falls, you're not getting it stuck in their hair um, on their head because they're not gonna really like you for that. So I'm gonna do one strip along the edge of his ear first, and then I'll do the one in the center next. Just can so you can see this. I'll put my hand behind it, and we are just going to very easily glide it up. Ear hair can go in all different directions, so just depending on which way their hair grows is the way you would lay that strip. His hair in this case is going upward. See, that's exactly why you put your hand behind it, so it goes on my hand and not his head. Um, next, I'm going to show you how much wax you need to get on your stick to do the tragus area. You don't need a whole lot. You want it to be moving slow. If it's moving too fast, um, then the wax is too hot and you're going to burn your client. If it's not moving at, at all, then it's too cool and it's not going to adhere to the hair. So you can see this one is moving very slowly. This is perfect. Now it's a little bit too cool since I've been holding it out here for a bit. So I'll get another one. And I will show you. Okay. So I'm going to take this little bit of wax. I'm going to put a little bit up top. And then I'm going to go just underneath, just a little bit. I'll spin. I'm not adding a whole lot. Just so we can get those little hairs. A little hair here, actually, I want to get to. Here we go. All right, so I will hold this until it starts to cool. And then I can let go and we will let it sit. Now, now this one's ready. I can actually remove this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because this has been on there longer. So I will just pick 
the top like this. Hopefully you can get this camera angle. We'll remove it just like that. Let me see if you can actually see. There was one really long hair in there. I think it got encapsulated in the wax so you can't see it. Hopefully there's a ton of really tiny, tiny little hairs, which for a waxer is like the most satisfying thing in the world. <laughs> so, all right, give me one second. I want this to cool 100% before I remove it. Um, if I remove it too soon, it's gonna get globby, it's gonna hurt, it's not gonna pull all the hairs out. So we'll hit pause for one second. We'll be right back and I'll pull it out. Okay, we're back. So it's ready to be taken out. Um, the way I test whenever this is going to be ready is I'll take my fingernail and I'll just kind of like push into the edge of the wax. Um, if I can make a divot, that means it's not ready. If I can make a slight one, but in general it's hard, you know it's ready to be pulled out. Um, so I'll kind of put a little bit of pressure here on the base of his ear. You're gonna grab the stick, pull like crazy. Do not hesitate, because um, if you know your hand slips something like that, it's gonna hurt your client and you wanna make this as least painful as possible. So like I said, I'll put pressure right here. I'll grab it, I'll pull it out. Let's see. Oh my God, glorious. You get a good, you see all this? That's amazing. All right, I know you guys wanna see this because this is like super satisfying to me. Hopefully I can get a really good angle of this, of all those hairs that we just pulled out. Oh my gosh. Um, you wanna see this? This is like. <laughs> Um, after that, then I'll get some, um, sometimes you do another strip, I'll take it from you. Um, not always, in this case, I got them all in one pass, so he doesn't need a second one, it would just be unnecessary. So I'll take some post-waxing lotion for the face. I like to use hydrocortisone cream, just because everyone's face is sensitive, but you can use whatever you prefer. And I will just rub a little bit right there, and then we did the outside. And he is all set. Um, thank you for watching. Any questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to answer them for you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.